our strategy has been laid to reduce agrochemicals by 50% by 2022. The first strategy is our breeding programs. In our breeding programs, we are incorporating the breeding for pest and disease resistance. Then the second strategy is by integrated pest management, that is basically IPM. So integrating of the different uh, management practices. Our third strategy is uh, management of soil health. So we manage soil health by maintaining the organic matter and maintaining the structure of the soil and also maintaining the microbiology of the soil. So we do our practices in such a way that we're not degrading the soil in any way. Los, lo que estamos trabajando eh, en función de mejor, eh, reducir lo que es el, el, el uso de, de agroquímicos con un objetivo que tenemos como compañía es en varios aspectos que podemos resumirlos en tres. El uso de cobertura para evitar y eliminar en un futuro cercano el uso de herbicidas. Eh, por otro lado, eh, el uso de dolomita como una enmienda al suelo para mejorar el nivel de pH y poder incrementar el uso, eh, los rendimientos y reducir el uso de fertilizantes. Eh, y por otro lado, una comparación versus un, entre un control mecánico de malezas y un control químico de malezas. Diversification agroforestry concept. It gives a lot of nutrients to the uh, soil and uh, it gives a lot of humus to improve the soil and there will be a lot of water retention capacity. With that diversification, we have interconnected with that agroforestry concept. We have reduced agrochemical usage. When we plant the wet wear grass inside the tea bushes, rows and all, what happens is the nematodes in the tea wheels will get attracted to the wetwear grass and we can use legume, legume weeds and uh, ground cover creepers that will not compete with the tea bushes 